So this week in computers class, we were working with the NTC thermistor. And this is my breadboard design here. Uh, this is the thermistor. This is a 10K potentiometer, which I have set to full. Uh, my red wire is power. My gray wire is ground, which is appropriate. And my orange wire is my analog read for my Arduino. This is an Arduino Uno by the way. Uh, it is in pin uh, A0 and gives information from my thermistor to my Arduino. Alright, so I'll show you what it does. If you're not sure what a thermistor does, it the name makes sense. It's a thermometer. I'll verify my sketch. I'll link my code in the description too, if you want to see how it works, I'll upload it to my Arduino. And I'll open the serial monitor. Okay, so here's the monitor. It's scrolling, so it's about 20 degrees in my room. And if I put my finger on the thermistor, it is heating up. Which is appropriate because I hope my body's warmer than my room. And then if I took my fingers off, it is cooling. It cools at a slower rate, but that kind of goes without saying. So, there's the demo of my thermistor, and I uh, hope you guys like it. Also, um, we looked at a new program today, or this week. It's called Fritzing, which helped with building the breadboard. Or in this case, we built it after, but it'll help in the future. I'll open Fritzing, show you guys what it's all about. So, this is Fritzing here. As you can see, it's the setup. It's my Arduino, which is here. My thermistor, which is here. This is my 10K potentiometer, which is here. And then my power, ground, and my analog read. These are connecting wires. And so this will help in uh, future. If you're breadboarding, you don't want to go straight to the hardware. You can look at this, and it'll tell you, you know, where this is supplying ground to. See the ground? It has all the green there. So I think it's really helpful. Also, you can look at the schematic. We haven't really uh, fiddled around too much with this in class. So uh, I'll, maybe next video I'll tell you guys how it is. Uh, but then my favorite part is if you go to export. You can export it as an image, which is pretty handy. You can link that. And uh, But my favorite is the list of parts. So you can export a parts list. I'll save that. It'll open up your browser. I'm using Opera. But you can use Chrome too. It works. Chrome, Firefox, PC, if you you can use Explorer, everything. So here's my thermistor parts list. You have my you have the one Arduino Uno, which is uh, like this. You have your thermistor, which is here. And you have your 10K potentiometer, which is this blue guy here. And remember, if you are doing this, it is turned up to full. So it'll tell you what to get, what it is, when you've exported it, and where you saved it to. So I'll link my parts list in the description along with my Arduino sketch. And also, if you guys were wondering what I'm using to record this with, I'm using Screenium, which I just got half an hour ago. It's really great, it's really easy to use. I'll link the download in the description. And uh, but I must warn you, one thing I couldn't figure out, and you guys probably noticed it, the sound doesn't quite match with my voice. I'm okay with that. I tried fiddling around with it, didn't want to spend too long. But there you go. So I'll give you guys one more quick look. Uh, again, you kind of see where it's wired to. Uh, thanks for watching. Another video next week. Thanks.